everybody, Shabu here, back for another video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a custom character in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to view, because we're going to need to open some stuff like the explorer and stuff like that. So click view at the top, go to explorer, and then properties. We're going to need this for like accessories and stuff like that. Now go back to the home thing. And then inside of Explorer, you can go to starter player, open up starter character script, open up starter player, and then right click starter character scripts, insert object, and then we're going to put down a folder. This is where we're going to be storing the accessories and stuff like that in. So we're going to put appearances. It doesn't matter what you name any of these things. It'll still work. And also go to starter player again. Click that. Go to properties and then scroll down until you see load character appearance. This should be on, but then turn it off. So it doesn't automatically give someone your appearance. So it doesn't automatically um, give someone their avatar. So right click appearances, insert object, then script. Now we're going to start you now we're going to start scripting. So we're going to make a couple variables full first. We're going to delete this. And we're going to make a variable for the folder. So local folder equals script dot parent. Now that's the only variable we're going to be using. So for because we're going to use a for loop so it can like loop through everything inside of the folder and then put it inside of the character. So for index equals, right now we're going to put index thing or whatever you want to like, whatever you want to name the thing you're, I don't know. But yeah, in pairs, folder get children do if thing does not equal script, then... Because we don't want to put the script inside of the character, because it needs to stay inside of the folder. So, if it's not the script, then thing.parent equals folder.parent. You could also make a variable for the character like this, and then do that. And then it makes it a little bit shorter. Yeah, that's how you make the appearance thing. Now you can go out of the script. Now you can start adding stuff to the appearance. So this is what we're going to be putting the object inside of. I'm just going to right click appearances, insert object, and then whatever object you want to put in there. The avatar section is the main thing used for this. So I'm just going to put in a body colors. Then I'm going to make like the head like purple. The left arm green, the left leg like yellow. I click play. And then it will work and it will change my body colors to the colors I changed it to. And then you can add accessories by doing this, like click the part at the top right there, click that. Or if you want like a different shape, like a cylinder. You can click this arrow right here and then do whatever shape you want. I'm going to do a cylinder. Then name it handle. This will make it so the accessory will actually um, go in your character. Now you can right click workspace, insert object, accessory. Then put the handle inside of there. I'm just going to make that like negative 0 0.5. Going to change the position of that. Then put this inside of appearances, the folder gun. And then the accessory should appear on your character. Just like that. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.